Welcome back to the to Freedom Diesel. Got a new name now. I was about to say E-Haul Network, but we have changed the name. And now we are driving the F-150. We've been driving it for the last week since the Cummins is in the shop getting its frickin' wiring done. And the F-150 is about to get about to get yeeted right into a junkyard. It's making me very pissing. This me right off. I think it's so stupid. It just starts death wobbling at like third gear. Starts death wobbling. You can't go anywhere in this thing. Yep. All it is. The entire way home. That's what it's like. Every single time you drive this piece of junk, people are pulling over for you, asking you if you're all right, making sure you're not going to die. And I'm like, ah, it does this. It can't do it. So I have to drive this pile of garbage while the Cummins is getting fixed. Three thousand RPM and climbing. Fourth gear. It's not as bad, but it's still shaky. It's still shaking. Yeah piece of garbage. I hate this thing. That's why I eat it right into a tree. This is probably what will happen if it keeps shaking like this. But the Cummins is supposed to be done tomorrow. And if it's not, I'm just going to put roller blades on the front of this thing. So I won't death wobble anymore. Like, look at that. So stupid. No reason that it should death wobble without even hitting a bump going 20 miles an hour. It's a piece of garbage. Like, what? I have to. Stupid. What we have here is just some grinding gears. Well, the stack fell over. That's how bad it is, the stack fell over. Come on, go in the gear. There we go. Oh, well, this lady's behind me is like, what is going on? Frickin' stack fell over. The screws came out because it wobbles so bad. What a piece of garbage. Oh, it's not very happy. Four grand. Shift. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is what it's like to ride in the F-150. Everything is shaking so bad. And we have 20 minutes until we get home. But driving this slow, maybe we are lucky if we make it there by tomorrow morning. Look at that wheel. Hold on, let me show you the wheel. That's what it's like. It's of garbage. On the floor. Let me 
better blow up. Blow up. Surprise this thing spills together on how much it rattles and shakes. So you're just nicely cruising along, third gear, and cruising and cruising and cruising, you know. And you come out and cattle. Get out of the way. Look out. Get out of the way. It's death wobbling F 150 is coming through. The whole dash is like. Everything is like. My battery is exploded right now. I'll show you the battery and how I start this thing when I get home. If I make it there! Keep her going! This thing is, drives pretty straight though. Actually, no it doesn't. Uh, yeah, just come around. Just pass me. Ain't going any faster than this. Idiots. Alrighty, I'll show you what we got here. Turn the key, push it. Nothing. Alright, what we gotta do? Pop the hood. Grab your little whatever the heck this thing is, or my favorite, a sawzall blade. Come on over here. Pop the hood. You can see all this corrosion or whatever this is. I don't know. But it's come out of the battery. The battery's got a massive hole in it there. And it's kind of oofed up, honestly. Look at all that battery acid. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. She's peeing. Idiot. Oh, oh, yeah. That can't be good at all. What the heck? I don't know, but it's rubbed up against the belt because it tipped over and laid up against the alternator there. But, you know, the battery somehow still... Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's definitely rubbed up against the alternator. Yeah, that can't be good, but... You just kind of jam the wires up under there so it's touching it, and you just put this right here. Come on. Oh, she don't like it. Wires ain't touching good enough. Ain't got a good enough connection here. Yeah, y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. That's how you start the truck. Oh, she's in gear. Oh, yeah, let's just unhook that. But yeah, you can see where all the battery acid has been under the hood and all in the paint here and all down the headlight there all over here but yeah that's that so I tried welding the steering rack here cuz oh yep that's battery acid that can't be good gotta watch out for that gonna make sure I don't go over there but uh, yeah I tried welding the steering rack here cuz I thought that's what the death wobble was and tried welding the tie rods a little bit but you know that didn't do it so it just keeps on wobbling, and I have a welded steering rack now. Nice. What else could it? What else could it be? Look at this thing. I just pulled it into the driveway. Yeah, she don't like it. Hope some back there too. Look at all that oil already. Holy cow. All back in there. Oof. The old 4.9 I think has had enough. We had to have sprung a leak or something up here. I don't know. We'll just keep running her. She'll be fine. Not even like 20 minutes. And this is how much oil we freaking dripped and uh, if you look here uh this entire a arm is just about to fall off i seen those like wow that's a little crooked and look at this 
entire thing just ripped out right there, cracked the entire, whatever this thing's called. Pulled out those bolts. Yeah, so we can, oh, oh, yeah, she don't like that. So let's just push her through the driveway. She's going to the scrapyard. The F-150 is done for. It's time for the scrapyard for this old gal. Uh, kind of sad to say it, but it's long due for the scrapyard. It's just a piece of junk. Piece of garbage. So, I got another video coming out for the Cummins. Got the Cummins back. She's back there. I got another video coming out on that thing after this one here. I guess we'll see you all in the next one, the next video. Should be pretty, but what is this? The stuff I find in this thing when it death wobbles. I find stuff I've never seen before. It just comes out onto the seats or out of the seats or out of the door panels. I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. It just falls out from under the dash. No idea, but. Hmm. So we'll see you all in the next video. We'll see you all.